Most windows are comprised of multiple frame and sash pieces, and the way these pieces are connected directly impacts the quality and efficiency of the window as a whole. Let's take a look at the ways these connections are made and why window construction is so important when choosing the right window for your home. The first and least expensive way to attach window pieces together is mechanical fastening or screwing pieces together at the corner. Typically, mechanical fastening is used for aluminum windows and those vinyl windows you see advertised at rock bottom prices. The problem? Screwing together pieces that are cut at an angle inevitably leads to a poor connection that's prone to air leakage. On a double hung window, for example, counting the four corners of the frame and the four corners of each sash, we have 12 corners for each window. Can you imagine how much air leaks from the corners in a house full of screwed together windows? The next way to connect window pieces is by applying a glue-like substance that gives the illusion that the corners are completely sealed. The issue is that the substance can break down due to environmental issues, like high humidity, much like the caulk around your bathtub. Then there is a method that combines the first two. This is most often found in fiberglass and composite windows. Combining mechanical fasteners and glue-like substances sounds like a good idea. But as the glue breaks down, all you are left with is screwed together windows. So you pay for more up front, but end up with less in the end. Last, there's fusion welding, which is far and away the most effective way to make a corner connection. The process is relatively simple. Two pieces of material are heated to over 200 degrees Fahrenheit and then fused together, forming a strong and airtight seal. Fusion welding can only be found in high-end vinyl replacement windows and requires specialized equipment that the manufacturer must purchase. It's quite an investment, but it yields results that make it well worth it. The next bit of research we need to do is to understand the number one issue with vinyl replacement windows.